This is example 4.5 on page 148 of your textbooks. Um, this is another example utilizing stoichiometry. It's a couple more steps because we're starting in kilograms and ending in kilograms, but it's the same general idea. So we're given a balanced equation for the production of sulfuric acid, and the question states that the generation of the electricity used by a medium-sized home produces about 25 grams of SO2 per year. Assuming that there is more than enough oxygen and water, what mass of H2SO4, that sulfuric acid, in kilograms can form from this much SO2? So we're given one starting number, 25 kilograms of SO2, and our mission is to determine the mass of SO2 or H2SO4 in kilograms produced from that amount of SO2. So before we start um, writing numbers in and performing conversions, I want to make sure that we understand the equivalency between the two mole amounts we'll be using. So we're comparing H2SO4 and SO2. So if we look at our balanced equation, we have 2SO2 and 2H2SO4. So my equivalency for this is that 2 moles of SO2 equals or produces 2 moles of H2SO4. So keep that in mind as we're performing this stoichiometry calculation. So we're looking for the mass of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, in kilograms produced from 25 kilograms of SO2. I'm going to move that down here so we have enough room to work. 25 kilograms SO2. So first things first, in order to even use molar mass like we've been doing, we need to convert into grams. So remember that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So that's going to cancel out our kilograms. Now in grams, we want to get out of grams of SO2 and into moles of SO2. So we're going to use its molar mass again. So the molar mass of SO2 is... 64.07 grams are in one mole. And that you can calculate from the periodic table. So now we're out of grams. We're into moles of SO2. Here's where we're going to use our equivalency. So what I'm trying to cancel goes on the bottom. Two moles of SO2, and that's from the balanced chemical reaction up here. On top goes what I'm trying to get to, which is sulfuric acid, so it's 2 moles H2SO4. That 2 also came from the balanced equation. So now moles of SO2 cancel. I'm currently in moles of H2SO4. So I want to be ultimately in kilograms. First, I got to get from moles to grams, and I'm going to use, once again, the molar mass. So one mole H2SO4 goes on the bottom. The number of grams in one mole, which you could calculate from the periodic table, goes on top. Happens to be 98.09 grams of H2SO4. Moles cancel. Now I'm in grams. Last step is to convert back into kilograms because that's what the question is asking for. So 1,000 grams is one kilogram. And that cancels grams. Now we're back in kilograms. You multiply all the way across and then divide that by the numbers on the bottom. You should get about 38 kilograms of H2SO4. So that is the amount of sulfuric acid you can produce 
from the given quantity of 25 kilograms of SO2. And this is once again a problem um, showing how to utilize stoichiometry.